So, so on the final topic that I'd like to go over, at least how into, um, how we're going to use our sine, cosine, and tangent, which I did not bring my calculator because Damon tried to steal it, but I'll take it back. <laughs> All right. Now, let's say we're trying to find x. All right, we're trying to find the value of x. Now we have an issue here because we've learned two ways to find the side lengths of a right triangle. The first one was Pythagorean theorem, right? Now this is a right triangle, but the problem with Pythagorean theorem is we need to know the other two side lengths, right? Correct? So we can't apply Pythagorean theorem for in this case. Now the next one, AJ, um, was the special right triangles, which we've been doing the last couple days. Well, special right triangles only works, you can see, oh, if here's the hypotenuse, then here's the short leg, right? But that only works for 45, 45 triangles and 30, 60, 90. Is this a 30, 60, 90? Nope. No, because this is 20 degrees. So unfortunately, we have to be able to use either um, our functions of sine of 20 degrees, cosine of 20 degrees, and or tangent of 20 degrees. <coughs> Excuse me. So before I can, I can't use all these, I can't use all of these ratios. But the reason being is um, because that all these ratios, they all ask for different side lengths of a triangle, right? So here you can see I have two side lengths of a triangle. Now in my relationship to this angle, um, Zach, what would you say those two angles are in relation, or those two side lengths are in relation? What would you call this side length in relationship to that angle? The opposite adjacent or hypotenuse. You got a 33.333% chance of getting it right. Yeah, it's the opposite side. And then this one, Zeth, is? Hypotenuse. Very good. So out of these trigonometric ratios, thinking Soka Toa, Oscar, which trigonometric uh, which trigonometric function what am I going to want to use? Which one, which one of these functions think Soka Toa? Which one of these uses only the opposite and the adjacent? There's only one. Uh, close. Yeah, opposite over adjacent, or opposite over adjacent, adjacent over opposite. Be careful. Does anybody remember what tangent was? Soka Toa. T O A. So by Sokotoa, tangent is opposite over adjacent. What? But I don't want opposite over adjacent because the problem is we don't have an adjacent side. So hold on. So hold on. My question. I know, Mario. I know, Mario. I'll get to you in a second. Yes. I want the function that is only going to use opposite and the hypotenuse. So. Okay. Um, not blaming. I probably could have said it maybe a better way to what help you out. But what I want, what I want you guys to understand is I can only use one of these functions. So I'm not going to use cosine or tangent because cosine and tangent, AJ, they both use adjacent side, and we don't have the adjacent side. So now what I can say is the sine of 20 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Do we know what the opposite is? X over the, adjacent, over the hypotenuse, which is 14. Now, how do we go and solve this? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we solve this just like we solve for x. Get the x by itself. So to do that, I mul oh, I'm sorry, not 14 degrees. I multiply by 14 on both sides. And therefore, x equals. 14 times the sine of 20 degrees. So now to find our exact answer of that side length, I now take, um, I now just do type in 14 times the sine of 20 degrees, or 20 degrees. And my answer is x equals 4.79. We'll round this to the hundreds. Huh? 4.79, around to the hundreds. So if this is 14, this length is going to be 4.79.
This is exactly what I typed in my calculator. 14 times the sine of 20 degrees. Yep. What? The first 